Señor Primer Ministro de la República Islámica de Pakistán, a quien invito a dirigirse a la Asamblea General. What do you think the impact will have on people of Kashmir? What do you think they will think the way they have been boxed in, in their houses, treated like worse than animals, no rights, thousands of all the political leadership have, has been arrested, taken out of Kashmir. Even those Kashmiri leaders who were pro-India have been taken out. 13,000 boys have been picked up and taken to God knows which destinations. So what do they think? What, what, what will the people of Kashmir do when they lift the curfew? They will be out in the streets. And what will these soldiers do? They will shoot them. Leave the poorer countries and go towards rich countries. Look, what is going to happen when the curfew is lifted will be a bloodbath. The people will come out. There are 900,000 troops there. They haven't come to, as Narendra Modi says, he's done this to, for prosperity of Kashmir. This is supposed to be for the development. These 900,000 troops, what are they going to do when, the demo, when they come out? There'll be a bloodbath. Has he thought it through what happens then? Developing world. And they find their way into Western bank accounts. So what do you think the Muslims are thinking right now? If there is a bloodbath, there will be Muslims becoming radicals, not because of Islam, but because of what they will see, that there's no justice when it comes to Muslims. Mr. Modi used words like, this is just a trailer. The this is one of the most critical times. There will be a reaction to this. Pakistan will be blamed. Two nuclear armed countries will come face to face like we came in February. And before we head in that direction, the United Nations has a responsibility. Leaders, this has been the main reason. And when and when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN, you've got to, this is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. They are suffering because of that. And this is the time. This is the time not to appease like in 1939 appeasement took place. This is the time to take action. And number one action must be that India must lift this inhuman curfew, which has lasted for 55 days. World. This is causing more poverty, deaths, and then the world community must give the people of Kashmir their right of self-determination. Thank you. We got an extra 180,000 troops there. This Islamic terrorism, Islam.